folks, welcome to Watson's Wagons. Um, tonight, we're going to bleed the brakes on the chassis here. And, uh, and once that's done, I'm going to, I'm gonna try to rig up a seat. <laughs> that's right, we're gonna rig up a seat and uh, see if I can't drive this old girl down the driveway. So before I do that, um, I'm gonna demonstrate the use of a tool that I picked up at, at Advance Auto, and I'm sure lots of other places have them, like, you know, AutoZone, Nap, or whoever, but it's a one-man uh, brake bleeder. It's $9.99, okay? This particular one's an Autocraft brand, but uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, so it's simple. Uh, the hose goes to the bleeder, and the other end of it goes to the tube. There's a check valve in here, so when you are depressing the brakes and everything, it will not allow air to go back into the wheel cylinder. And, and that's that's what you need. So um, it gets topped off. Just If it's still good fluid, dump it right back into your master cylinder or into your uh, uh, into your bottle of uh, brake fluid. But this is the only way you can do it with a one-man person. They do have more expensive, you know, suction type deals. and uh, But I like doing things on the cheap, so all right. Uh, let me get this hooked up. I'll get the camera set and we'll demonstrate. All right. So, I've got the uh, wrench on the bleeder screw. I'm just going to crack it loose. All right. You can already see there was a little bit of pressure in the system. And it's, uh, it's coming out. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and pump the brakes. All right. Until we don't see any more air bubbles. See the air? That's what I want to get out of the system. There it is. Okay, this tool is freaking awesome. That's it, no more air bubbles. We got straight fluid coming now. We're gonna go ahead and tighten up that fitting simply by lifting up on the wrench. And we're good. I'm going to disconnect the um, the line, take this to the next wheel. Well, that's pretty amazing how that works. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this container off. You can see how much fluid I got. It's good, clean fluid because I have brand new lines. All right. And we're going to dump this right into the master cylinder. Be good to go. You don't put this cap on and you depress that pedal it's going to spray all over the place and you're going to be mad because your paint job's jacked up so there we go so just finger tight you don't have to go wrenching on it i'm going to go ahead and empty this out because i want to start with a fresh bottle do like I did and just spill it all over the damn place. And we're going to move on to the next wheel. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and insert the needle. Look at that. Stuff's under pressure, man. I just need this to stick somewhere. Ach, du lieber. All right, let's pump it up. Whoa. Look at all that air. Quite a bit of air in that line. All right, I'm gonna take this off and drain it. All right, reef emptied it. My level of confidence isn't that good because we had so much air coming out. We're gonna go ahead and work it again. Oh, there it goes.
think that one's good. Okay, if you're paying attention, we started with the passenger side rear, okay, which is the right rear wheel. It's the one that's furthest away from the master cylinder. Then we went to the left rear, which is the driver's side. Now we're back up front to the right front. Uh, passenger side front wheel and then the last one we'll do is the driver's side front left okay let's go ahead and loosen that up Hello. We're full. <laughs> Did you guys catch that relief valve? Nothing like getting brake fluid on your on your nice clean Jeep. I would just say that we got the air out of that side. And lastly the uh, front left. Pretty short run so shouldn't be too much in there yeah I didn't think so you got pretty good pedal all right we'll tighten that up that's it folks we got all the brakes done yeah now watch this okay so what I wanted to show you here was the fact that I only filled this master cylinder up once, okay? All right, you'll notice it's low. It's about a third full. And all we did was is we kept recycling the oil from the, from the unit here. And like I said, I'm gonna pour it right back in. All right, that's got me at about almost three quarters full. And now what we're gonna do is top off the master cylinder. That's more than enough. Okay, the whole process, we didn't get any air sucked into the system because we kept recycling the unit. Wipe this off, this little edge here. Cinch that up with a little wrench. That's it, folks. Now, I got some stiff brake pedals here. All right, so that's pretty much how you use that particular tool. I mean, it's stupid simple, right? Makes your life a lot easier when you're on your own. And uh, so that's that. You get the brakes bled. So they're all done. Um, I got good brake pedal. Now I'm going to work to get even better brake pedal by adjusting the brakes. Now. Each of these uh, particular brakes um, have a backing plate with four eccentric adjusters on it, okay? You got two at the bottom and two at the top. The two at the top require a 916 wrench and this special tool, now Snap-on has them, they're a, they're a B1351, okay? And that's for the little inside adjusters for the eccentrics. Thinner side is for the top ones, the thicker one here, uh, is for the bottom adjusters. The bottom adjusters also require a three-quarter inch uh, wrench. So, because basically what you're going to do is as you adjust the eccentrics, then you're going to tighten down the nuts um, around those eccentrics to lock them into place and make them secure. 
So that's a video for a different time, but I just really wanted to show you how to use that, that self bleeder. And, uh, uh, and that way you can get out and do your own. All right. Thanks for watching.